If you followed Apple's recent developments with the iPhone, you would have seen augmented reality or AR gaming in action. Now I got my hands on the game that was demoed on stage called The Machine shortly after the event. And while I wouldn't say it's exactly revolutionary, it does set the stage for something bigger. If you want more on the tech that drives the games we love, make sure you stick to GameSpot for more game tech. So onto AR gaming through a phone. With the launch of iOS 11, developers are now delivering AR games in the mobile space with AR Kit. It's essentially a tool set that streamlines the creation process for AR games on the Apple platform. Now I spent my day with the machines, and it plays similarly to a MOBA game such as Heroes of the Storm or Dota 2, in that you control characters with a set of abilities on a map with specific lanes. Mechanics are similar to that of an action RPG. In this game, you control two characters, which adds to how hectic battles can get. It actually gets you up and moving throughout a match. Now we all need some exercise, right? The catch here is that with AR, the map is placed in the real world, as long as you have the proper space and table for the game to render. And it was seamless to set up. You have to walk around the map, move in and out, and get the best view to make strategic decisions, and pull off abilities at the perfect moment. I found myself splitting my characters off into two lanes for a sort of pincer attack, and I ended up running back and forth between the two ends of the table to make sure that everyone was doing what I needed them to do. It's one of my highlights with the machines. Since I was playing pre-launch, I didn't get to experience the local or online multiplayer. But when I extract my single player experience and think about playing with friends, I could see the excitement of crowding around the same table and getting rambunctious in a competitive match. I also got to play Zombie Gunship Revenant, also developed with AR Kit. It's a wave-based shooter from the perspective of a helicopter, making sure your base doesn't get overrun. When you activate the camera though, you can place your base anywhere as if it's a set of toys in the real world. As someone who isn't big on mobile games, it's hard not to think of AR as a novelty, but it's still in its early stages. I mean, look at what Pokemon Go did. Granted, it's a huge IP paired with its core concept, built around physically going places to capture Pokemon. So now the door is open even wider for another gaming experience like that. Now one of the attractions of AR compared to VR in the gaming space is that the barrier to entry is lower. You just need the proper phone and the proper space, as opposed to a headset, sensors, and a powerful system. But they're inherently different experiences. New challenges come up with AR, like battery life, thermal limitations, and the control scheme. But that shouldn't hold developers back from trying to push mobile AR gaming forward. Augmented reality isn't entirely new, but with this new platform integration through iOS with AR Kit, there's potential for some really unique gaming experiences. Is AR gaming something you find exciting or you're more curious about now? Let us know in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.